Hi, and welcome to Beer Engineers. This is Emmett, reviewing another beer. I'm back in Dublin. Um, had a look around the local, local uh, off, off, license, off license. And just seeing what any new Irish beers out there. There's one that came, came across that piqued my interest. It's a, it's a double IPA, 7.8% called Rini, Rahini Ringfort. This is close to my, my heart, Rahini, because that's where I grew up. Um, called Rohini Ring for it because I think there's an ancient Rohini village itself is built on an ancient um, ring fort or Rath as they call it and it was owned by as far as I know it was uh, I presume a warlord or a lord called Aina Rath Aina Rohini that's where the name comes from Fort of Aina anyway in for the history we're here for beer so let's see what this is like um, we'll crack it open Now, I believe this is brewed specifically for the off license in Rohini, the super in the Super Value supermarket, which is interesting. So, the colour looks like a Nipa to me, New England style there. How's it all up against the night? There's, there's a bit of carbonation in there, quite opaque. Again, gold, more the golden pale yellow. I give that head's a decent head now. Look at that. Seems to be staying. Looks quite creamy. Nose on it. A bit dank. Bit of dankness. All right. That's. I think this. I reckon there's a bit of citra in there. I'm getting citrus, melon type snows off it. Smells decent. Not a huge amount of dankness, low, low, low level dankness. <laughs> so let's see how that how it tastes. Slightly a bit more a bit more business to to the new to the usual sort of nipa that you get. Grapefruit, definitely grapefruit in there. Bitterness. Yeah, maybe a hint of melon, but it's certainly got a good bit of bitterness in there. Body. It's not as not as um not as thick as I'd expect from looking at it, but it's nice. There's, there's definitely a, a decent enough mouthfeel to it. Um a bit more carbonation than than normal than the other uh, Nipas I've had. It's again. I've had this before. It, it's almost you can tell that they've they've it, it's got sort of a hint of the bitterness of the West Coast with the body and I suppose creaminess of 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 East Coast or Nipa, New England ales. Um, not too bitter, but there's like Midwest, <laughs> as I said before. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Let's go more. Yeah, it's good. And to be fair, the, the, the level of carbonation works well with the beer. It gives it that refreshing note. Um, I know normally a neap is not very carbonated at all, but this has got, it seems to be a combination of different styles of IPA in it, really. And as it's like called Rahini Rainfort, I can't not like it. Which I, I do like it. So, yeah, it's, it's a good... Good, good quaffable. Not, nothing outstanding, nothing amazing, mind blown, but it's good. It's a good combination of, of IPA style styles, really. Um, which I think I, I found is quite popular in Ireland. It, it's got a combination of both. A lot of the um, the IPAs I do have over here. Good. I get. I give that about. I'd give it a seven, a seven, seven and a half, maybe seven. Yeah, I'll go with seven. I'm gonna go seven and a half because it's got Rahini in it. Eh? Um, yeah, so if if you ever get in Rohini and go to the supermarket, that's the only place you're going to find it. So it's fairly rare beer, I think. Um, anyway, yeah, good. Happy with that. I'm going to finish it off. See you. Cheers.